Hello everyone, welcome to Panda Key Learning. Today, let's see how to implement Python with MySQL. So MySQL is a database management system which is used for storing and accessing data. Why we are seeing here is, in Python, for example, we will be solving machine learning problems and we will be using data sets which is in CSV file format. We will be implementing it in Python with the help of pandas using the command read CSV. But in case, in future, when you work for a company, you may have to solve machine learning problem with the data sets present in the database itself. So for that, you have to know how to access the database with the help of Python. So to connect any database with programming language, you need a connector. So here, to connect MySQL with Python, we need a connector. So the first step is to install the connector. I am going to use Anaconda Navigator. So in case if you use Anaconda Navigator, you have to go inside the environment to install the connector or else if you don't use that, you have to use command prompt. So the command to install is pip install mysql connector python. So this will install the connector. The next thing is you have to import the connector in your IDLE. I will be using Jupyter Notebook. So the command is import mysql.connector. The next is to connect. You have to use the connect method. So for that you have to call the connector and then connect and you have to pass the arguments host name, username, password and database name. You have to use the cursor method to access the database and to execute query you have to use the execute method to run the SQL query and return the result. So let's get started. So the first step is to install MySQL connector module. I am going to open my Anaconda Navigator. I am going to go inside the environment, paste root, open terminal. So I have to install the connector first. So the command is pip install mysql connector or python. I am going to run this. So since I already down installed it, it shows requirement already satisfied. So if you don't have means it will install it automatically. Okay. So before that you also need MySQL and you have to download MySQL from the browser so that you can create a database there. So let's let me show you. You have to go inside your browser. And you have to type mysql download Yeah, here you have to download the mysql installer so you can install everything with the help of that Please install it and run it and install all the software required for MySQL. You should have the server, workbench, shell, etc. So while installing, it will ask for username and password. Keep the username as root and password. Please set it and you have to remember the password because every time you need, you have to, every time you access, you have to enter the password. So here it is, you can download any of these and you can install it. So it's better to go with this 431 MB, you will be downloading everything and then it will install everything properly. So after it installing it, it will ask for password, please note the password and keep the username as root. So next thing is, we have installed the SQL and then we have installed the connector. Now let's go to the Jupyter Notebook. You can use Jupyter Notebook or any other IDE. So we have to import mysql dot connector. You have to import the connector which you installed. I'm going to run this. This ran properly without showing any error. So we have to create a variable for this connector. I'm going to pass mysql dot connector dot connect. You have, we are using the second step which is to use the connect method and inside the bracket you have to pass the argument host. Since this is a local host, I am going to give it as localhost 
then you have to enter the username which is user is equal to I am going to give it as a root and please enter the password here it is, this is the same password which you used it for during the installation of MySQL 2345 then I am going to ok now leave it for now we haven't created any database yet so let's leave the database empty so this is the connect method I am going to run this so it ran properly so if you connect it if it ran properly means then it is good so if you type some wrong password and run it it will show an error because the password is wrong so if I enter the correct password it will run properly yeah it ran properly without showing any error so let's go to the next step let's see the server info first I am going to create a variable known as db and what I am going to do is I am going to get the connector which I created earlier connector dot get underscore server underscore info open and close the bracket and I am going to print db let's run this yeah this is 5.7.40 is the server information so next let's do the cursor so I am going to create the cursor is equal to I am going to call the connector dot cursor and close the bracket and run we created the cursor now with the help of this we can execute commands so first let's create a new database so before that let's go inside the SQL workbench so if you install the SQL MySQL then you can see it in the start here <coughs> here you can see the workbench please open it so you can see the local host the name root I'm going to open it it will ask for a password enter the same password here also <coughs> yeah it opened so this doesn't have any tables or database so we are going to create with the help of python so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open with the help of cursor I am going to create a database so to execute it I am going to use the execute command here so cursor dot execute create database we need to give the database name let's give it as new so the name of the database is new and I am going to run it so it ran so a new database should have been created let's go and see so here it should show I'm going to refresh yeah the new database is created here with the help of python now let's change let's enter the database here also I'm going to give it as database is equal to new I'm going to delete this because this is already executed we created it I'm going to run this again Run version now created the cursor now we will be editing the database first thing we will be creating a table which is named as customers so I'm going to create with the help of cursor dot execute create table and you have to give the name which is customer customers name and address we will be getting name and address and that's it let's run this it ran properly let's go and see I'm going to refresh all so inside the tables you have the customers now it's, it is executed the table is created now so it contains name and address so in the next step we will be adding the name and address let's see how all with the help of cursor and execute command I'm going to create a new I'm going to create cursor and execute 
So to insert it, before that we have to give, so create two variables, on this I am going to create a variable termed SQL and I am going to type insert into customers, you have to insert this into the customers name and address and values. And then I'm going to create another variable and I'm going to enter the values here. Let's give it as John. He is from highway. Yeah, now we have to pass it with the help of execute. I'm going to type cursor dot execute SQL comma well. And to save this, we have to type cursor dot ok. Before that, we have to type, we have to call the connector. So I am going to connect, call the connector dot commit for this to update the. I am going to run this. It ran properly. Let's go and see there. I'm going to open my SQL, my SQL, and here I am going to see customers. So here the name and address is there, I am going to see the name, I am going to click this and select rows limit 1000. So here we have the name John here and let's see the address, I am going to select the address and select rows limit 1000 and here we see the address also. So this is how we can implement Python with MySQL. I hope you guys have learned how to do it and that's it for today. Thank you.